Honeybees do not hibernate in wintertime. What they do is they actually stay inside their hive and they will form what is called a cluster. So they will all come in very close together and they will shiver their wing muscles, which they do to generate heat. This is the same method that they do when they're keeping the brood warm and incubating the brood in summertime. So they keep each other warm. What's really important to understand is the bees do not heat the entire hive. That would use up far too much energy. They only warm up the cluster. And what happens is just like penguins, the bees that are on the outside of the cluster will cycle into the center where it's warmer, about 35 degrees, and then they will then cycle back out to the outside edges. So all the bees will get to come into the center at some point and get really nicely warmed up. The queen is always at the center of that cluster. When they're in that clustered position, they're standing on top of their capped honey. So the cluster will eat the honey that's under their feet and they will move like to the side and up, etc. as a group, as a cluster and eating the honey from frame to frame. And they will move up from one box. They'll finish all the honey in one box and then they'll move up into the next honey super that's available. And so that's the purpose of saving all that honey and creating uh, a large store of honey so they have food for the winter. On fairly decent winter days, you know, it can get kind of warm if there's lots of sunshine shining on the snow, reflecting the light around, and there's no wind, that's a good day for a bee to go outside the hive for a very quick flight to poop. So they will fly out, poop, and then fly back in. And so if you come out to the hive in the winter time, you'll see the peanut butter colored stains in the snow. And of course, the saying is don't eat peanut butter colored snow. Now, you'll see in a lot of these photos what can also happen, and it's very tragic, is if a bee doesn't get its flight muscles warmed up enough before it flies out to poop, it can start to fly and it'll be too cold and the bee will fall to the snow. Really, if they fall to the snow, that is a death trap for them because they weren't warm enough to begin with to fly. Now they're on the ice and that's making them colder and so they're working super hard to warm up those wing muscles warm them up shivering those muscles shivering those muscles and you can see the tragedy in the photos is that as they try to heat themselves up enough to be able to fly they're actually melting the snow and falling down 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 into a little tunnel in the snow it's very sad i hate seeing that I have on occasions picked up bees that are in this state of too poor before they're actually dead and I've been able to warm them up in my hands and they can fly again. But it's impossible to be able to do that for every single bee that falls and hits the snow.